In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the basic terminologies involved in terpenes and terpenoids. We will see the definitions, examples, various structures and classification of terpenoids. We will also see how this isoprene rule is useful in understanding the complexity of structures of terpenes and terpenoids. Terpenes and terpenoids are the natural products and these natural products are mainly synthesized from the plants. This terpenes and terpenoids are made up of the isoprene unit. In other words, this isoprene molecule is found to be a repeating unit in the structures of terpenes and terpenoids. When these compounds contain carbon and hydrogen, it is called as a terpenes. When it contains carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, then it is called as terpenoids. In other words, the oxygenated form of the terpenes is called as terpenoids. In the literature, more than 23,000 terpenes are known. We find various applications of terpenes in our everyday life. Let us see some of the examples. The first example is of myrcene molecule. Myrcene is an acyclic molecule containing three double bonds and it contains 10 number of carbon atom. It is a major constituent of bay leaf, uh, bay leaf here and bay leaf is used as a spices for making Indian curries. Second example is of alpha philandrine. Alpha philandrine is a monocyclic compound containing two double bonds. It's a homoannular dime. It is a constituent of eucalyptus oil and eucalyptus oil is having some medicinal importance. This is a structure of geraniol which is present in rose oil. Alpha menthol is present, menthol is present in the leaves of uh, paper mint. Alpha terpenol is present in the seeds of cardamom. These three examples contain oxygen in the form of alcohol functional group. It's a primary alcohol, it's a secondary alcohol, it's a tertiary alcohol. And since it contains carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, they will be called as terpenoids. Let us take few more examples of terpenoids. This is a molecule of carbon. It is an alpha beta. It is an alpha beta unsaturated ketone. It is present in caraway seeds, and caraway seeds is a main constituent of spices. This is a structure of gingibirin molecule, and gingibirin contains 15 number of carbon atom. There are three double bonds. It's a homoannular dime, and this gingibirin is a main constituent in ginger. The pleasant smell of lemon is due to presence of a terpene called as citral. Citral is an alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde, and here it again contains 10 number of carbon atoms. These are the structures of alpha pinein and the beta pinein. Both of them are bicyclic structure, and this alpha pinein and beta pinein is having some historical importance. In the ancient days, uh, from African jungle, people were extracting uh, from resins of pine trees. And the distillations of these uh, resins of pine tree leads to a chemical called as turpentine. And turpentine contains alpha pinene and the beta pinene as major constituents. So because of the turpentine oil, the words turpenes and terpenates are derived. The last molecule is very interesting. It is called as a beta carotene. Beta carotene contains total 11 number of conjugated double bonds. And because of this, uh, because of this, Conjugated chromophore, it is having very high lambda max value, 456 nanometer. The red color of the carrot is due to the presence of beta carotene. So, if we look at all these examples of terpenes, we find that uh, they contain carbon atom in multiple of five here. Isoprene is a repeating unit and isoprene contains 5 number of carbon atoms. So myrcene to carbon contains 10 number of carbon atom. Gingibirin contains 15 number of carbon atom. Vitamin A contains 20, squalene contains 30 and beta carotene contains 14 number of carbon atoms. So terpenates are mainly made up of the isoprene units and the number of carbon atoms present in them um, depends upon how many isoprene unit contains. So in other words, terpenes are made up of isoprene units. As far as the structures of terpenes are concerned, it can be the acyclic structure like myrcene molecule, geraniol molecule, citral molecule. It can be the monocyclic, for example, philandrine, limonene molecule, menthol, alpha terpenol, all these are monocyclic. In bicyclic variety, we may have an example of alpha pinin, beta pinin. Tricyclic structure like santonin is also, santonin is a cisq terpenoid and it is having a tricyclic structures. So it can be the terpenoids can have a cyclic, monocyclic, bicyclic as well as tricyclic structures. As far as the oxygen functionality in terpenoid is concerned, alcohols, aldehydes, and ketones, these are the three common functionality. 
functional groups in terpenoids whereas acids and esters are also exist in terpenoid family but acids and ester containing functional groups are very less available in terpenoid family now let us see the classifications of terpenoids as already is discussed that terpenes are made up of isoprene units and depending upon how many isoprene unit it contains the terpenes are classified into mono di tri and tetra monoterpenes contains two number of isoprene unit di contains four number of isoprene unit tri contains six tetra contains eight that's a two four six eight tri tri number of isoprene unit corresponds to the monoterpenes di terpene tri terpene and tetra terpenes when it contain odd number of isoprene unit it is called as a cisq terpenes cisq means one and half and sister means two and half so one can have a cisq terpenes there's a three number of isoprene unit sister terpene is a five number of isoprene unit now corresponding to these isoprene units we will have the number of carbon atoms in the multiple of five c10 c20 c30 and c40 number of carbon atoms are present in monoterpenoid diterpenoid triterpenoid and as well as tetraterpenoid when it contains 15 number and 25 number it is called as a cisq terpene as well as sister terpenes corresponding to each class of the terpenes one should have at least one example on our fingertips like citral menthol for monoterpene squalene is for triterpene tetraterpene uh, examples are lycopene and the beta carotene compared to any other class of the terpenoid the sister terpenoids the examples of sister terpenoids that is c25 number of carbon atoms are relatively less in the literature the lower class of the terpenoids mono and cisq terpenoids they are relatively steam volatile contributing to the uh, development of essential oils when this isoprene contains more than 100 number of uh, iso when this terpenoids contains more than 100 isoprene units the resulting molecule may be called as a polyisoprene and polyisoprene is called as a natural rubber so this is the classification of terpenoids based upon the isoprene molecule we have already said that the terpenes are made up of the isoprene molecules isoprene molecule is a branch molecule the branch portion is called as a head and unbranched portion is called as a tail we can visualize here in the form of this cartoon where this head portion uh, is a part of branch and a tail portion is a unbranched portion so theoretically there are three possibilities that this two isoprene units can be joined through head to tail linkage tail to tail linkage and head to tail linkages but the nature is very systematic it is observed that most of the part of the structures of terpenoids contains isoprene units joined through head to tail linkage so this linkage of isoprene unit to head to tail linkage is called as a isoprene rule this isoprene rule was proposed by otto on the basis of two important observations the first observation is that the empirical formula of all terpene was found to be c5h8 and the second observation is that the thermal decomposition of all terpenoids gives several product and one of the product was found to be the isoprene and since this is a product form on the basis of these two observations otto reached to a very important conclusion that terpenes are made up of isoprene units and they are joined through head to tail linkage and this statement is called as isoprene rule or it is also called as a special isoprene rule and this special isoprene rule is useful in understanding the structures of these terpenoid molecules in a couple of slides we will see how this is applicable to the class of monoterpenoids cisq terpenoid di tri and as well as tetra terpenoids monoterpenoids contains two isoprene units and monoterpenoids can be acyclic it can be monocyclic it can be the bicyclic citral geraniol and myrcene these are the examples of acyclic monoterpenoids and let us ignore here double bond as well as functional group it is made up of 10 number of carbon atom so this is the one isoprene unit containing five number of carbon atom this is another isoprene unit containing five number of carbon atom here head is connected to the tail a branch portion is connected to the tail here also a branch portion head is connected to the unbranched portion that is a tail here is also head is connected to the tail so in monoterpenoids we find at least one head to tail linkage here you do not find head to tail linkage here also there is no head to tail linkage but please note note down that when we will discuss the biosynthesis of monoterpenoid at that time we will realize that in the beginning of enzymatic transformations first of all head to tail coupling occurs and through other enzymatic transformations this cyclization occurs then in cisq terpenoid again three isoprene units are joined one can have a acyclic cisq terpenoid monocyclic cisq terpenoid bicyclic tricyclic structures also exist in acyclic terpenoids we are having two iso 
two head to tail linkages here is again two head to tail linkages so in cisco terponet we find at least two head to tail linkages and here again we find a branch portion connected to the unbranch the same thing is applicable to the cisco terponet molecule in di terponet contains four isoprene units this is an example of phytol molecule which is a substructure unit in chlorophyll molecule here the four isoprene units are beautifully connected through tail head here is a tail head here is a tail and head vitamin a is again a di terponide where four isoprene units are there vitamin a is involved in the chemistry of vision of an eye and here again it's connected to tail to head here is a tail to head tail to head three i head to tail linkages are observed in case of di terponide that's a vitamin a now we say that uh, is terponides are made up of the isoprene unit and they are joined through head to tail coupling this kind of the isoprene rule is a very useful rule useful rule in understanding the structures of the terponide family but it is not a fixed rule it is it can be used only as a guiding principle because certain exception occurs however these exceptions are very less in number for example levandulol levandulol is a monoterpenide but here we do not find head to tail coupling similar exceptions occurs in higher terpenoids like triterpenide as well as tetraterpenide in triterpenide and tetraterpenide we find head to tail linkage by and large uh, in uh, in major portions of the molecule but at the central portion of the molecule there is a tail to tail coupling we will see specifically in case of squalene molecule squalene molecule is an example of triterpenide it's a triterpene basically squalene molecule and there are six isoprene units these six isoprene units are joined again through head to tail linkage but at the center portion of the molecule there is a tail to tail linkage but remaining portion again there is a head to tail linkage so isoprene rule is violated here but it's a very again useful one because in rest of the portion of the molecule there is a head to tail linkage tetraterpenide contain eight isoprene molecules like beta carotene and the lycopene all of them are containing carbon hydrogen so they can be called as terpenes and specifically it's a tetraterpene now again in large portion of the molecule there is a head to tail coupling in beta carotene but at the central portion of the molecule a unbranched portion connected to the unbranched and therefore uh, here is a tail to tail coupling lycopene is present in uh, uh, tomatoes again here head to tail linkage is observed but at the central portions of the molecule there is a tail to tail linkage so in this way we have seen that terpenes are made up of the isoprene isoprene units and they are joined through head to tail linkages let us see its utility where they are used it is observed that monoterpenides and the cisco terpenides are steam volatile compounds lower higher order uh, higher range of terpenides lower range of the terpenides and they are major constituents of the essential oils essential means essence that's aroma and because of this aroma they are commercially available in the market for example rose oil then mint leaves menthol alpha phenanthrin myrcene alpha terpenol alpha pinene beta pinene these are the constituents of several essential oils sold in the form of for example orange oil palm rose oil lemon grass oil citronella oil these are commercially available and it is having some uh, applications some of the applications we find in the, uh, the in the food industries they are used as natural flavor additives they are used as fragrance in perfumery industry and they are also having certain medicinal property for example the eucalyptus oil is used as a medicines then as far as the aroma industry is concerned we find that uh, 36.80% of terpenes is contributing to the 2016 market share and therefore the terpenes is having uh, tremendous uh, utility a uh, commercial utility now let us see if suppose the terpenes are not there around us what will happen to our beautiful world the so first of all um, whatever the spices we are using particularly in india uh, for making the curry then this spices contains terpenes as well as terpenoids and if there is no terpene then the question is what we will eat then and it will again about the taste of the uh, prepared kind of curry then these are the essential oils they are used as perfumes as well as deodorant and suppose they are not no perfumes and no no deodorants then definitely jack will be reluctant to go to the party rose will not smell the way it does and that's why there is a big problem from the youngsters and lastly that we have seen the polyisoprene can be used as a rubbers and if there is no terpenoid there will be no rubbers no tires for vehicles no balloons and no gloves and therefore we conclude that 
the terpenes are indeed very essential. So this is the last slide uh, and we will make a final conclusion about what we have learned in this uh, lecture. From all this structure, it is very clear that terpenes and terpenoids are natural products. They are synthesized from the plants. Syn naturally occurring compounds synthesized from the plant contain isoprene as a repeating unit. Uh, the number of carbon atoms are in the multiple of five. Uh, they contain isoprene and isoprene is joined head to tail linkage. And as far as their utility is concerned, they are used as essential oils. So this is all about the basic introduction, basic terminologies involved in terpenes and terpenoids. The next lecture will be related to the structure determination of citral. I have decided uh, to go for the structure determinations, reaction, synthesis and stereochemistry whenever it is applicable for the dozens of molecules like citral, geraniol, menthol, alpha terpenol, camphor, parnisol, santonin, zingiberin, phytol, abitic acid, vitamin A and beta carotene. So we will discuss in detail about the structure determination, reaction, synthesis and the stereochemistry whenever it is applicable for example menthol is having a very 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 rich stereochemical aspect we will discuss in very detail we will also discuss the bio genesis of biological isoprene unit that's a biosynthesis of terpenoids how nature prepared this kind of the molecules very interesting carbocation chemistry is involved in the biosynthesis of terpenoid it is divided into two lectures part one and the second lecture is again related to the actual biosynthesis of terpenoid molecules and the number lecture number 16 is related to the pericyclic reactions of the terpenoids in some reactions of uh, some uh, periterpenoids undergo some sort of pericyclic reactions, we will discuss it. And the last lecture will be related to the multiple choice questions in terpenes and terpenoids. The purpose of last lecture is a revision kind of the exercise, what we have learned out of all these efforts. So the next lecture is on citral. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching the video.